So now in this video, we're gonna make another emitter follower circuit. So we did this before. Basically, it takes the voltage in and gives you the voltage out. Using one uh, transistor though, in this case an NPN bipolar junction transistor, you lose 0.6 volts from that voltage in. So voltage out is 0.6 volts uh, lower. If you really want the voltage to line up exactly the same up to a certain voltage and uh, a little bit below the uh, supply voltage, but anywhere between that, the voltage in will be exactly the voltage out for the most part. You can just uh, cascade, have a couple of uh, transistors. And uh, so, any case, let's get to the build. This is the quick video series, so we don't want to dwell uh, too much on particulars. So, we're going to zoom in. You can see here that uh, it's an NPN bipolar junction transistor. I'm going to use the 2N3904 right here. And so since it starts with 2N and it's a bipolar junction transistor, I find this is always the pin layout so far. Left pin emitter, middle pin base, right pin collector. So the emitter is the arrow if I turn it this way. Now the emitter is on the bottom and the collector is on top. The collector we're going to put directly to the positive power supply right there. And uh, right now it's set to 5 volts and we'll go up to 8 volts later on. So base, the middle pin has a jumper there because uh, that's going to go to other circuitry, get out of the way, and then the emitter comes here. So that will be our voltage out. We want this resistor at the emitter. So sometimes you may get away without this resistor, but it helps hold the uh, voltage. So that's 10,000 ohms, 10 kilo ohm right there. And uh, the two resistors I'm going to use are 10,000 ohm resistors, and the trim pot is a 10 kilo ohm, 10,000 ohm resistor. For the uh, load though, I'm going to add a load to voltage out, since we're going to go up to uh, 8 volts, this is a 470 ohm resistor. It will protect an LED from 8 volts uh, perfectly fine. So that's going also to the emitter. And then one spot away from this gray jumper. And we're going to light an LED. So of course the long lead, the anode, needs to be more positive. Short lead, the cathode, more negative for it to light up. So there we go. Now, that's already an emitter follower. The voltage we give to the base will be the voltage at the output minus 0.6 volts. So for whatever reason, we don't want to deal with that 0.6 volts. So what we're going to do is put a PNP, bipolar junction transistor, emitter follower in front of it, which will raise the voltage 0.6 volts, and then it'll drop back down right there. So they'll cancel each other out. So this is a 2N3906 right here, and again, it begins with 2N, it's a bipolar junction transistor, and uh, so left pin emitter, middle pin base, right pin collector, same pin layout as the 2N3904, but uh, their chemistries are different. And so current goes the opposite direction in them. So in any case, the emitter left pin is on top, we'll swivel it that way, and now it's on top as far as the uh, board is concerned. The emitter connects to the base of the transistor there, and uh, the uh, base of the PNP transistor here goes to the uh, white jumper which is going to a trim pot and then the uh, collector is going directly to the negative rail. Now again we want this emitter resistor and this one we absolutely have to have. So that's going to the positive rail again 10 kilo ohms right there and the uh, trim pot is 10 kilo ohms. So we're done wiring this up. The trim pot is over here on uh, the schematic right there we can give a variable voltage. And uh, you can see it's about halfway. Since the uh, power supply right now is uh, five volts, that means it's gonna be about uh, 2.5 volts right there. If we go down, the uh, LED turns off, but you can see the LED getting brighter based on the position of uh, the trim pot. So it's not gonna get all the way to five, it's gonna stop about four because we do have those uh, diode drops there. So, in any case, let's go up to 8, and the reason why I'm doing 8 is because there's 8 squares on my oscilloscope, which I'm going to grab next. So power went up, or current went up quite a bit, because we got more voltage to deal with now. So it's going to be about 4 volts there, about 7, and then now about 0. The voltage we're given at the trim pot is being transferred to the LED pretty nicely, as we will see with the oscilloscope. So now, we got her all set up, and I'll uh, put the uh, blue, or the uh, black I should say, alligator clip with the blue jumper 
and just uh, plug it onto the uh, board right there and we can connect this to a ground so our voltage is going to be in relationship to ground just keep that out of the way we'll plug the uh, red alligator clip with the jumper on it right there so first thing we'll do is look at the voltage of the supply which will go all the way to the top because it's 8 volts so it's ending right there now we can come to where the uh, white jumper of the trim pod is right there and we can see the voltage that we have set and that will go of course all the way down to a zero if I turn it down and if I go up you'll see it gets all the way up to eight so we're just about at eight and there you can see right when we get to the end there it's eight so we know that it goes to eight so what I'm going to do is now we got it about halfway four volts right there I'm going to move the jumper from the uh, trim pot to the load right there and as you can see the load has the same voltage that's the voltage across the resistor the LED and then it comes over to that side of the oscilloscope so now I'm going to uh, raise or we can go down of course and it's going in line with the uh, trim pot exactly but again we have those uh, two diode drops basically from emitter to follower so I have that all the way to the positive rail now it does not go to 8 volts so you can't get all the way to the positive supply but you can get all the way to the uh, negative side of the supply this is a single supply right now so that is the zero volt uh, ground reference point right there so in any case it's an improved emitter follower and I really like this circuit I hope you do too make sure you can check out one of the other videos that I'm posting click like subscribe the bell and all that uh, donate to patreon if you can that would help out a ton I will see you in the next video.